Hello my friends, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all safe. This week we're going to continue talking a little bit about insects, okay? We already talked about the caterpillar, ladybug, grasshopper. And last week you told me you wanted to talk a little bit about the bumblebee. So let's talk a little bit about the bumblebee, about its body parts. And when we meet up for class, we'll talk about why it's so important, right? For all the flowers, for the gardens, right? And for all the vegetables. Here we go. All right, my friends, here we go. Let's start drying our honeybee, our bumblebee. We're just gonna start with its head. All right. Next, we have the thorax. And then we have the abdomen. So head, thorax, abdomen. On its head, we have its two antenna, right? Just like all our other bugs. Remember those antenna are so it can smell and help it find its food. They also have their two compound eyes. But what's interesting about the bumblebee is that it doesn't just have two eyes. It has two large compound eyes and it has three smaller eyes on its forehead. So they have five eyes to help them see and help them fly around. Also on their head, they have their mouth and they have a long tongue. Right, a tongue. And they use that long tongue to drink nectar out of the flowers. So flowers have this very sugary liquid inside of them that bumblebees like to eat and take back to their beehive so they can make honey. And that's how we get our honey, from that sugary liquid in flowers that bees drink. All right, so that's their head. Next we have their thorax. And on their thorax, we have their wings. Do you remember how many wings bugs have? Four wings. One, two, three, four. Four wings. And when you hear buzzing from a bumblebee, the buzz, they actually don't make that with their mouth. They make that sound with their wings because they flap their wings so fast bzzz, that it creates the buzzing sound. And that's where that buzz comes from. Also on their thorax, they have their legs. I know you already know how many legs bugs have. That's right, they have six legs. Six legs. Now on their back legs, they have these yellow sacs. And those are called pollen sacs. Now that yellow is hard to see, so I'm gonna make them orange for you too, so it's easier for you to see them, okay? They're actually yellow and they're called pollen sacs. And those pollen sacs are very important because when the bumblebee stops on a flower to drink its nectar, these pollen sacs pick up the pollen, which is a fine powder, and they carry that pollen to other flowers to help us grow new flowers. All right, so that's what those pollen sacs are for. Let's write it down right here. Pollen sacs. Okay, so we have the head, thorax, next we have their abdomen. And the abdomen is usually the part that has their stripes. So on the abdomen they also have, just like the grasshopper did, they have spiracles. Remember? 
the spiracles are little holes in their body that help them take in oxygen, take in air, and that's how they breathe. And they also have on the very end of their abdomen, their stinger. Stinger. Now that stinger is what bees use to defend themselves if they ever feel in danger. Right? So if there's other animals trying to eat them, or even if people try to bother them, they'll use that stinger to protect themselves. But don't worry, bees don't like to use their stinger. So they will only sting you if they feel in danger. Right? Because if they sting you or if they sting another animal, they actually die. So that's why they don't want to sting anybody or any animal, right? They don't want to die. So if you ever see a bumblebee, it's okay to look at them. They're not going to, as long as you don't bother it or you don't try to hit it, it's not going to sting you. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, so there you go, my friends. Those are the main body parts of a bumblebee. All right, we have the antenna. We have its tongue, so it could drink its nectar. We have their four wings. Remember, that's how they make their buzzing. Bzzz. Remember, we have they have five eyes. They have their six legs with their pollen sacs, where they carry the pollen to all the other flowers. They have their spiracles, so they could breathe. And they have their stinger, so they could defend themselves. Right. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that bumblebees don't have ears, or they don't have a tympanum like the um like the grasshopper had. They actually use the hair on their body. They use the hair that they have all over their body, and also their antenna to help them hear. They feel the vibrations from sound and that vibration moves their little hairs around and that's how they listen. Right? That's how they hear. And there you have it, my friends. That's our little bumblebee. I was going to try to color in for you, but you can't really see the yellow on this whiteboard so we'll just leave it like that for today okay my friends I want to see if you can draw a bumblebee and show me on Thursday okay see what you can remember about it have a good week be safe I'm excited for class again and I'll see you on Thursday okay take care bye